Obviously a big story this week that we've been talking about a lot. Really a big story for the year, Sheltie, is Key Brian Hayes. Um, some people had him as a low-key MVP candidate. He hit so well his final three months last year. He told Jason Mackey the other day, this is the quote, Hayes said, someone who has what I have, referring to his back, you want to stay away from turning, but that's what I have to do every day. What does he have? Like, have you guys or him independently reached a conclusion as to what is, obviously you haven't, I guess, what is wrong with his back and how to fix it? Because it seems like this really hurt him two years ago and again this year. Yeah, so to the answer to the first question, no, we have not determined that yet. He saw a doctor... Uh, yesterday, we are having more testing actually run today. And I think, no, I don't think, uh, I know we need to get to a solution because Keith's been grinding. And, and to his point, when you have a back, and, and you guys well know this, when you have a back issue, the rotation is the biggest component to it. And, you know, he's been battling this for a while. It's been affecting the ability to rotate. And we have to find a solution for it because he is important. You know, we saw, as you pointed out, Stark, over the last two months, the impact offensive player he could be. And because of the, you know, lack of ability to rotate or whatever it is that's causing him not to be able to, to rotate the way he wants, it's impacted his, his swing this year. And we don't have an answer yet. We will get an answer. And the reason we don't have an answer yet is just we're waiting for more testing and, and waiting for the doctors to, you know, kind of inform us of what the next course of action should be. Yeah, I guess it all it all just seems so vague, even from a couple of years ago when he was saying he was having trouble getting on and off the plane. This year, having trouble turning, it just seems to be, you know, uh, really hurting the team, quite frankly. And and I'm wondering this off season, do you have to maybe have a solution where you move on at third base if you can't get this d- identified? No, I think the the thing is more important for us is to get it identified. Because, you know, we've seen the impact that, that T. Bryant can have defensively. And we saw, we've seen in spurts when he's healthy, you know, how good of an offensive player he can be. I mean, I think last year, you know, in June, August, and September, really impactful offensive player, missed July, most of July, and had to get him healthy. So the important thing is finding out what this is. Because I think we all know with back situations, it's something that can flare up, and when you're doing a rotational sport, it causes issues. So the biggest thing right now for us is finding out how we can treat this, how we can get him back to, to where he was. 